Hello friends! In this video I'll review two devices which are not relatives but have almost the same function. This is the camera LED light and a forward flashlight. Of course both devices use light emitting diodes, but their types are different. I would not like to say that the forward flashlight can replace the camera LED, but sometimes, in some cases when the recording is not very responsible, it's also possible to use the flashlight for this purpose. First of all, let's check the camera LED light. It comes in a such small box. Here are the specifications. Input voltage DC 3 volts to 4.5 volts, power 3.4 watts, and color temperature 5600 kelvins, 3200 kelvins. Also, here we have two filters this matte one. and let's say warm orange one. Here is the manual. This device operates on three AA batteries. Let's mount this LED light on the camera and check it. It's pretty decent. So it's the maximum in the daylight conditions. Also let's insert the filters of this one. Now it's inserted. Let's remove it and insert the second one. So you can see that despite only 56 light emitting diodes, this device is more or less powerful. Once again, The ISO setting is manually adjusted, so it does not change during the test. Now let's check another device. It comes without any box, however with two necessary accessories. I've ordered this device without any battery, because as usual the capacity on the inscription of batteries does not correspond to the reality. This device can be operated on lithium-ion 18650 battery. Let's insert it and check the device. This is the first mode. This is the second mode. And this is the third mode. Wide light. First mode, or the second mode, and the third mode. Also, we can use both lights together.
Inside of the flashlight we have two LEDs. During charging we will see the red LED and as soon as the battery is charged we will see the green light. Now let's check the power consumption of each device. It's the maximum. So approximately 1 amp. Spotlight first mode. Second mode, third mode, wide light, first mode, second mode, third mode. So the third mode is the blinking first mode of each light. Now let's check the power consumption when using both lights. First modes, second modes, third modes. Let's check the PWM frequency of the flashlight. First mode, no frequency, so it can be used at the camera LED, or the second mode. Sixty six hertz of the second one, a wide light, no frequency, so the same frequency, sixty six point eighty nine. So the first modes of both lights can be used for video recording. And now let's check the devices in the darkness. It's the maximum this light can provide. Spotlight strong, weak, flash, wide light, strong, wide light weak, wide light flash, both lights. Let's compare it to the camera light. I've also checked this spotlight in the street at night and it can be useful at the distance up to 20 meters. As to the second LED, it's really useful up to 5 meters. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.